when the world is all at odds and the mind is all at sea, then cease the useless tedium and brew a cup of tea. There is magic in its fragrance, there is solace in its taste, and the laden moments vanish somehow into space, and the world becomes a lovely thing. There's beauty, as you'll see, all because you briefly stopped to brew a cup of tea. Hello, scholars. I'm Mrs. Fazenmeyer from Great Hearts Northern Oaks. I'm drinking a cup of green tea. I drink a cup every afternoon. It's a very fresh tea that gives me energy for the rest of the day. When it's cold outside, I drink it hot. When it's hot outside, I drink it cold. Either way, it's a great moment in the afternoon to enjoy. Let me tell you about the teacups I have been collecting since I was 15 years old. I started collecting long before I was a, a big tea drinker. So here's my first teacup. I got this when I was 15. Uh, when my family went to San Francisco and we went to Chinatown. This next one is very old and ornate. You might guess who gave it to me, my grandmother. This is a very beautiful teacup. It's very elegant. This one is from my mom. I got this teacup in Austria when my husband and I went. It's very um, folk art. And this teacup is when um, my husband and I visited Boston. It's historical. Tea has been an important part of cultures all over the world for thousands of years. For example, in the United Kingdom, people take time every day to sit and have a cup of tea and a snack. In Japan, there are tea ceremonies that involve the proper preparation, pouring, and enjoying of tea. In Russia, a small amount of jam is placed in the cup before the tea and hot water are added. In Morocco, mint is the herb traditionally used. They have a special way of pouring that creates bubbles in the tea. Have you ever had bubble tea? Why do people sit, gather, and drink tea? It gives humans a chance to take a pause sit with a friend, celebrate and receive nourishment for the soul and the warmth for the body. It also anchors people in tradition and ritual that has been passed down through generations. These traditions and rituals are important because they help us feel a sense of belonging and security. Tea time has become a way people connect in times of joy and times of sorrow. Why do you think it's important? My own idea is that we want to go to something we know that brings us comfort. If tea time was a good thing to go to as we were growing up, then it is something we will want to go to later. Does your family share a tea time tradition? Perhaps you don't drink tea, but maybe you have another tradition that you share. If I was going to invite you over for tea, this is what I would do. Here's some loose leaf tea, and here's a filter. This is a filter that goes into, I'm, I'm putting it in a mason jar so that it'll be easy to see. So first of all, I'm gonna put um, one teaspoon Actually, it's a two cup cup, so I'm gonna put two cups in. Now, I'm gonna add the water. You have to bring the water up to the level of the tea so it can sit there and steep. Okay, here's my other jar. So you can see tea being made. 
this is my green tea. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon per cup, which is one, two. Now, the tea has settled a little bit. Okay, so now you can watch and see. <coughs> you can watch and see also <coughs> uh, what a black tea looks like and what a green tea looks like. And it'll take a couple of minutes. But maybe you would be across from me and be having your tea and I would be having mine here. I would get a teacup for each of us and heat the water. I would probably get a little plate of snacks for us to have. I would have a couple. Of, we would have sugar or sweetener. And in some countries like England, you would have, uh, you would probably have milk in your tea. Quite a nice thing to be able to take some time out to relax and enjoy a time of beauty and refreshment. So let's keep looking a little bit longer. As you can see, the dark tea is making its way through the water. And that was just from a little bit of tea in my filter and then this is the green tea so maybe you can ask your mom about having a tea time and sitting down with teacups and snacks and enjoying some tea together and some fellowship have a good afternoon 